Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World Daily <laughs> with me, John Jordan. So the news we're looking at today, as you can see, is about Brave Frontier Heroes. So Brave Frontier Heroes is um, a kind of a interesting collaboration. So Brave Frontier is a pretty successful mobile game out of Japan from a company called Gumi or Gummy, um, and that's done really well. Made made a ton of money for them mobile RPG, and they have partnered up with. The company behind my crypto heroes so my crypto heroes in our space pretty well known uh, ethereum uh, based game the most popular game on ethereum through 2019 um and one of the most popular blockchain games uh ever i guess <laughs> uh, but um so what we're seeing here is is the kind of gameplay and the ideas and the kind of functionality and the features of my crypto heroes being combined with the ip with the characters from this very popular um mobile game uh, brave frontier so kind of um, that's what we're talking about. Um, so uh, the vision leading blockchain gaming industry to mainstream adoption. Obviously, that's what kind of everyone wants. And, you know, the fact that uh, My Crypto Heroes has been pretty successful, albeit with um, a fairly small audience, so about um, 4,000, 5,000 um, kind of a daily, uh, 5,000 monthly active wallets, you'd say. Maybe 10,000 um, monthly active players because you can play it without using the blockchain. Um, but you know, we're all looking for the game that's going to take us to the next level, to ten thousand to a hundred thousand. So uh, maybe, maybe uh, Brave Frontier Heroes is that game. So a little bit about the roadmap. So it launched launched on January the thirtieth. Um, a whole bunch of stuff going on there. There's campaigns and and, and, um, and uh, promotions and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, early February, we have these um, some other kind of detailed um, features going live. So the Sphere Fusion. Uh, the spheres are the in-game kind of items, the weapons and stuff you can be able to kind of fuse them pretty important part of um, rpgs um second unit sales units are the characters so there's going to be a sale at launch of some of these characters and then another one and then we can see march and beyond a whole bunch of kind of deeper uh features gameplay features so guilds raids um all that sort of stuff okay so uh the first unit sale the first sale of characters as happens with um with most um kind of nfts we have this kind of idea of the rarity level so Actually, my crypto heroes has been has been quite good at doing this, and um, they've had quite a successful um, kind of marketplace in, people, in terms of people buying these NFTs and using them in the game. And how they do it is they have a rarity. Um, so we can see here, legendary. There's only going to be a hundred um, of these um, units, a uh, hundred uh, characters per unit. Um, epic is 250 and rare is 500 so that's obviously limiting the scarcity and then we have this pricing so what's interesting here is um the, the pricing here is in zell zel so zel is not a cryptocurrency it is the games the in games um cur currency so in my crypto heroes we there was a currency or is a currency called called a gum gum um, and you can spend eth and buy gum or you can spend fiat on a credit card or whatever or through in-app purchase if you're playing on mobile um, and, and um, you can gain that currency that way so they're being priced in in a non-cryptocurrency we can see here um, ethereum one eth is going to be ten thousand uh zell so so the most legendary characters are going to be two eth which at the moment what's that going to be about three just over three hundred dollars three hundred twenty dollars so you can get an idea of pricing here um here's a bit of uh kind of a kind of UI so we can clearly see that Brave Frontiers being a mobile game Brave Frontier Heroes you know mobile it's a browser based game actually so I'm not sure if it's going to be available through app stores or not um, you can play it through a browser um, and and you can play it through mobile um, whether that's a browser or not not sure but we'll find out um, we can kind of see the kind of the UI um, pretty straightforward obviously it's all in Japanese and um, there will be an English version um, so we have this idea of the uh, kind of experience points exchange. This is kind of interesting. It's kind of, I guess, taken from from blockchain. This is like a decentralized exchange, although it's centralized and none of it uses cryptocurrency. Um, but you have this idea that you have these spheres, so replica sphere, spheres, um, which you don't need, and you can um, dump them into this exchange, and the, for that you can get this Zelle currency back again, um, and then you can use your Zelle currency to buy um, XP. So as a way of kind of you play the game. You win these spheres, you swap them for currency, you swap the currency back to, to level up. So so a nice little um, exchange idea there. Maybe over time that will go decentralized. 
it's kind of quite hard to run decentralized exchanges if you don't have a lot of liquidity, if you don't have a lot of people buying and selling. Um, the price can go all over the place. So I guess that's why they're doing it centralized. Um, Sphere Fusion. So this is coming a bit later on. So you can um, fuse these uh, replica spheres and create original spheres. My crypto heroes has have this quite complicated um, system. And certainly when you first start playing is they have replica spheres and or, or my crypto heroes have rec replica characters and replica replica items which means they're not on the blockchain they're just centralized and then you have the kind of original stuff that is on the blockchain so there is always this um kind of difference and that's kind of because you can play the game free to play not on the blockchain because obviously people find it hard to understand what a blockchain means and how to get on it so there's that in-game market um so we've kind of kind of seen that a little bit there is this um idea again um, not using cryptocurrency you can trade your your units and your spheres with other players and earn this zelle currency obviously if it's a items or units are on the blockchain, um, then you can uh, buy and sell them on OpenSea. There was an issue with kind of my crypto heroes where you, you could buy and sell stuff on OpenSea, but then you had to um, kind of take it from the Ethereum, from the Ethereum blockchain into effectively what was the side chain for the game. So there is that kind of bridging step. Um, so interesting to see how that, how that one plays out. One of the nice things about uh, my crypto heroes, although I, I never did it, is you have original game art. And if you want to, you can upload your own art. Quite where you want to do that. Don't know, but you can do that, and they're keeping that for my with Brave Frontier Heroes. Obviously, if there's a fan base, there might be quite a lot of kind of um, kind of alternative art going around. Although obviously that potentially causes issues with uh, user generated content, as we all know. Um, and then another thing um, that is being kind of copied is this Prime. So the Prime subscription model in in My Crypto Heroes was um, a, a tenth of an ETH, so about ten dollars a month and every day you logged in and you got some of this gum currency. So they're keeping this going for Brave Frontier Heroes. It's a very effective retention method. Um, what's interesting, not showing it on this actually, but on the website, the price is is a 0 0.035. So um, about a third of what the pricing model is for my crypto heroes. So obviously that is um, going to be a big encouragement to get people to get onto this um, monthly subscription model. Why would you do it? You get these exclusive prime units for the first month. You get more experience, more stamina. Um, if you're going to play this game seriously, you're going to want to have the monthly subscription. So it's like a VIP system. Um, ecosystem, gracious, is all the things going on here. Here's the assets in the game. What we've got, we've got a shop, we've got a market, we've got an ex uh, XP exchange. We can do the art. Um, and then this is kind of what we're doing here. We're doing adventure quests. We're doing arenas, PVP, PVE, 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 PVP, some raid stuff going on here. Uh, land and guild so actually my crypto heroes did a big land sale um, at the start of 2019 made sold pretty well um so there's nice stuff you can do around land so we can kind of see get the idea of the flow between this zell in-game currency um the uh, kind of units and the spheres and then and then actual money you know, fear and, and and eth so actually the game to me looks like a lot less blockchainy than my crypto heroes so there is you can do stuff with ethereum but they're assuming most people aren't going to be uh, using ethereum they're going to assuming most people are going to be using fiat currency and then this zell in-game currency um which to me kind of makes sense i think a lot of blockchain games have gone a bit heavy on the blockchain um, and not really explained the, the benefits so um release campaign so this is kind of the the, the kind of broad what's going on if you want to get involved now you can buy this sell and you get 20 percent more um and four uh, percent there's a four percent chance um that you'll get half the eth back that's kind of confusing isn't it um so if you spend if you spend one eth buying this sell there's a four percent chance you'll get 0.5 eth back so it's just a way of getting people to stock up now legendary sale we looked at that um prime a prime program trial campaign so this is actually this price is discounted the one i was talking about 0 0.035 maybe they'll put that up to 0 0.5 or whatever we'll see so plenty going on and then kind of finally what we got here my crypto heroes conversion so you can convert your heroes and use them in other games so that obviously the first uh, collaboration here will be my crypto heroes and uh, brave frontier heroes so um let's have a look these are characters from my crypto heroes i think um but anyway it doesn't really matter the, the certain characters um will work on both it's saying here i'm sorry i'm trying to read here you can purchase sun c which is this one in my crypto heroes until the until february the 11th so yeah so these are my crypto heroes characters if you buy those you can then um play them in in brave frontiers game so interoperability um people get very excited about that i'm not so sure about it um uh, but anyway that's just me and then here we can see the first the first um the characters so these are the characters from brave frontier um, doesn't mean very much to anyone who hasn't played Brave Frontier, um, but there we go. 
So that's that, Brave Frontier uh, Heroes. I think it's pretty interesting. Um, My Crypto Heroes, Double Jump, Tokyo is the company behind it. They they have a good idea of how to run a blockchain uh, game. They've run one successfully for a year and a half or something. They've run it successfully for, for getting on for a year now. Um, and they've taken a very, uh, ma- what is in Japan, a very mass market IP with Brave Frontier. So we kind of wish them well. I hope that um, the... Uh, they will drive the blockchain gaming space forward with that collaboration. Thanks for watching the video. If you're inter- interested in blockchain games, please do subscribe to uh, the channel. So all we do is we um, talk about what's going on in the world of blockchain games, play a lot of blockchain games, do kind of let's play videos and that sort of analysis. So if that's your thing, please do subscribe. Any comments, comments box is there for you. Uh, but thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon.